how okay how do we add somebody go live with my right, here we go connecting hi like hi. that <laughs> i know it's, finally you, i thought you were there i'm I mean, ignoring you i was like where is no, you no 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 i just i just came in and uh, like i was reading some of the interesting comments that were uh, people were writing like who you married to Hello, ma. How long have you What's been married? <laughs> What's his How name? What's his name? Children. <laughs> <That's> I, <laughs> I know. I know. That's so funny. So, anyway, Mike, how, how have you been? I've been good. It's great to see you, Paloma. It's been a while. I mean, since we've like met in person, yeah. it's it's been a while. And uh, I think uh, we might have had a chance, you know, this time around if IPL was there. But then it's okay. You know, we'll wait till we meet physically again. So it's okay. really great that you asked me to. uh join you for this because it's a lot of fun you know like catching up with old friends in this yeah, way yeah i got me touch base a bit also yeah. because i mean it would have been the ipl right now i know and, yeah yeah uh, i thought people are sort of missing it a little bit they need the they're not they're all turking for the ipl you know so i swear so we got why not get together chat about it talk about good times and mm. all our favorite moments etc but before that i want to ask you what have you been up to uh during the lockdown <laughs> i think this is same as everyone we've just yeah. all become master chef overnight all right trying new recipes um cooking cleaning chopping my god how much of the day goes chopping, into chopping right? vegetables right oh and i'll be happy i know and just that i mean it i try and put a positive spin on it because i think with the kind of lives that we have and especially being married to a cricketer you i, I can't remember for loma the last time that uh you know a month went by without either of us like taking a flight i was going to ask you that is this a good yeah. we both are not no traveling? it's <laughs> it's we haven't missed it at all so in a way it's we're like okay this is really nice because after almost like seven and a half years of marriage it's the first time you're actually able to live together at home yeah have a routine you know wake up in the morning you cook your meals whatever okay of course we can't step out but uh, so there's small joys in in you know those sort of things as well because it's literally seven and a half years we've never actually had time like this together and again it would have been ipl so we would have been at a part and you know so all those sort of things yeah so I, i'm curious about when you guys have time off do you like yeah. to travel together to another place or do you just like to stay put <laughs> what do you guys like no 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 love traveling actually both of us are and especially stu he's a big like he likes getting out doing a you know a lot of things so if we did have the summer off we would have definitely had a chance we would have gone somewhere and just about four and a half hours out of bangalore my in-laws have a farm in bandipur which is just near oh, the tiger wow. reserve just near the forest yeah literally on the border of the forest so that's like a, a weekend getaway or a week getaway and it's in the jungle you know there and he's put watering holes on either side so uh, now tigers are shifted their territory so the tigers come yeah the elephants come so uh, yeah no i think we would have anyway stepped out either gone been part of nature or stu in his off time would have gone fishing i haven't joined him for that just yet like it's proper like camp type um but yeah we would have gone somewhere you know what's your opinion yeah. of fishing though i've been fishing once and i'll be honest i did not enjoy it. i have never really been so the only time i've been fishing is like sea fishing when we used to go on holidays oh. uh to like Thailand and Cambodia and all, and I get really seasick. <laughs> so oh, yeah, I do not enjoy the. Can't handle it. Yeah, <laughs> like this, like this. Like, I was just like, okay, I need to lie down. You guys do whatever you want. Um. So no, but both of us like being outdoors. Both of us enjoy nature, and you know, as a lot of people do, especially when yeah. you live in the city, right? You enjoy that break. So. we would have done that driven maybe to uti spend some time there and come back so that's usually like if we within near close to home that's like a good weekend getaway for us yeah nice but that uh, yeah. the property alongside the sanctuary that sounds amazing and it's it's beautiful yeah these insta lives are so confusing because like you're trying to focus on the person <laughs> but at the same time but you're trying all to comment they're just going nuts over here they're all like where is bini where is bini where is stuart where is bini where is he where is he B- So Stuart is currently on workout number two of the day. He works out twice a day. He goes up to our terrace. Yeah, and so he has that very intense. Like he's been doing his different like tabatas and uh, different these like cardio bar, bar like five minute cardio blast, you know. Yeah. So he's 
just left to the terrace, so I won't disturb him. Today is Sunday, right? Like I can't remember which day of the week it is. So today I'm like, no, I take some time off. And and when we were talking, yoga. you were like, that's yeah. Saturday, right? I was like, uh, I think so. I have yeah. no idea. <laughs> I stopped checking my, anyway, I was never really good at this. I was always really good at dates, you know, because we get booked for dates. Correct. So you don't and remember with, yeah, yeah. yeah. So you don't remember days because usually True. you and me were working on weekends, right? I always that's said, the business. I said Friday and Saturday when all the events happen. So that's when exactly. Happens. So there's no such thing as like a weekend off. So we yeah. got used to that. But now I don't even know the date. <laughs> I just lost yeah. track. I understand. You know? Yeah, You're just like lockdown crazy. day number 20. Pata nahi, yeah, it must be. I genuinely, it's been what? It's been three weeks, right? It's Since been the now first a month. one. Yeah, the first one three weeks, and then now I think we've hit a month. We've hit a month? Yeah. <laughs> Feel like the same every day. <laughs> So Manti, we have fans okay. tuning in. You have fans tuning in right now from Canada, from London. Oh, cool. Nice. Uh, Singapore. So. Whoever's tuning in from the US, it must be, or Canada, it must be like early in the morning or something for them. I so know. thank you guys for tuning in. They're also, I know, thank <laughs> you. That's so morning. sweet. They're so your you fans, have, actually, that come to check. Do huh. you have a favorite IPA location? We have a bunch of people from, I think, like yeah. Marcel and all over. Do you have a favorite location? Just I think it would be a little biased because obviously I live in Bangalore. So Chinnaswamy means a great deal to me. I love that stadium. And uh, I think for my family, there's a little history there, right? Like yeah, my yeah. father-in-law has played cricket there. And my husband's played a test match there along with IPL. So I think for our family, that that's literally where Stuart grew up, you know, so it's yeah. special. But also, I mean, we've done a match together, the one Kade, and that's an experience. Yeah, to go honestly. to the one Kade, you know, and then, you know, the dedicated fans and it's it's just, so I, uh, yeah, it's tough because now I'm thinking, wow, Dharamshala is such a beautiful stadium. So yeah, it's a it tough is. to pick one, but if you're Okay, guys, we're going to wait a second. Okay. I'm not sure what's happening. I it's think we're back. Light oh. always okay, we are back. No, li uh, the light went. It's, it's, it's in there. It happened. <laughs> <laughs> I think the light went to so my Wi Fi went and never mind. Anyway, carry on. It's like, welcome to India, India right? So I, I know. <laughs> this is like day, daily life. I know. We roll with it. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to ask you what has been like your strangest experience as an anchor? There must be like many, but has it been like what? A rain or a tech failure? Or you said something that was not supposed to go on air that went on air. Anything funny like that you can tell us? Yeah, about? that's happened. That's happened. I remember yeah, I that's happened. The yeah. And that went on. Like I was yelling at you. Like it went on five times. Yeah. I was saying, Oh my god. Yeah. Five times and it went on yeah. air. <laughs> hey, Maisie. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Mindy? It's okay. A lot of people shouted Mindy. <laughs> and she shouts at other oh, people. Mindy. She knows. She's used to it. <laughs> uh, I, I mean, all of the above. That with oh, live TV, that. that's all happened. We've all been in situations where you... Yeah, you've all of the above. But I think this is really, really long time back when I had just started my career. And at that time, I used to do... Um, you know, like these news bulletins and all for Z Sports. So the strangest thing that has happened to me is that I was, I wasn't reading off the prompter. I was just welcoming to the show. And I was like, I introduced my co-anchor as my MP. Oh, I don't know why. How many people have told me they've done that? Really? I thought yeah, it was the I only was... one. And I was just like, hi, you know, I'm this one with my MP. I'm like, no, wait, sorry. I, I'm my MP. <laughs> like, I don't know. That's no, got to be the... common. Because I know a lot of people have done this. I know anchors have done the reverse. Like there was a guy who said, I'm Jennifer, but that was his co-host. So <laughs> live on it. News. Yeah. Okay. I don't think we were live. Thankfully we were recording, but um, so see, you're not that was very, yeah. But that was, see like the small stuff that happens, it's live. So you just kind of laugh it off. But this was like properly embarrassing because it was like recorded. And I'm just it's like, like how could someone do like, that? Could you forget yeah. your own name? You know what I mean? <laughs> Yeah, yeah. yeah, that's going to be the worst, I think. Oh my god, that's funny. That's a good one. Okay, everyone's asking who your favorite actor yeah, is. Yeah, yeah. Come on, guys, you can't ask her that. Yeah. You can't ask her that. That's not a fair question. I'm not, I'm not going to ask you your no, favorite actor. No, but you, you, you know, listen, I'll, I'll, yeah, I mean, guys, guess. <laughs> like, that's not a very <laughs> tough guess. Uh, I'll tell you what, that I will be very honest with the fact that, okay, so it's been 10 years that Stuart has played IPL. So I can't 
not support the team that he's played for. Right, so we have a very special connection with Rajasthan Royals. There's seven years with them. He started with the Mumbai Indians, and then two years with RCB. So you still know those people. You you know you're still part of that family in a way. And you yeah. I share all those experiences before I was hosting IPL, and we were watching you know Rochelle yeah. host IPL and do those things. Then I was part of the team family. So in a way, yeah, guys, like especially Rajasthan Royals, it will always be close to our heart because we've I spent seven years with them as you know the family team member. So there you go, I mean. She said it, guys. I said it. Yeah, I know. Yeah. How are you? Okay, guys. She's already answered how he is now. We're not going to talk about. Billy is working out, doing Tabata on the roof. Yeah. So we just did that, tell them they could ask questions. So the other, of course, uh, yes. first asked question I got is, how can one become a sports anchor? So because this Ooh, question appeared, good uh, one. I'm going to uh, put it across to you. <laughs> so you I think. Every- everyone knows my story which was that it was very accidental so uh, i wouldn't suggest that you go by my route because i think i was just fortunate with opportunities that came my way and people were like okay let's give her a chance and uh, i'm like okay cool it's worked the thing is that a lot of as you know now paloma la given with star sports we do that we uh, have a lot of internship programs and we have a team that looks specifically for talent so you know they'll call you in and they'll give you an audition uh, but the one thing i think you need to keep in mind is uh, you can't go into it saying that i want to be a cricket anchor i want to be a football anchor i want to be a kabaddi anchor yeah, no yeah. i think you should go into it saying that let's try and be a well rounded sports anchor you know yeah. so whatever situation you get wherever they throw you um use that opportunity and I, that's I, probably the best advice i can give is because that's what happened with me i never defined myself by one sport in the beginning it was like okay whatever came along chalo let's try it you never know the what's the worst that can happen you fail at it and it just led to other opportunities so that's the number one thing when you apply to any one of these networks that go in don't go in and say everyone wants to be a cricket anchor and understand that you know it's like the most followed thing but if you if they're giving you an opportunity even if it's like reading like a sports bulletin or if it's read you know doing those small sports vignettes that's how all of us yeah. started so yeah. you should keep that in mind keep an open mind yeah. in fact a lot of the comments we got were about people saying that we've been following mayanti since she was a football anchor so exactly uh, yeah I yeah think- Yeah yeah and that's what that's I used to be known as like the football anchor and now I get depressed when they're like oh you do football too I'm like what do you mean <laughs> That's where I started <laughs> that, it's been so long like the new generation does not know me <laughs> like, You got you, you know got to set the fan right so I know it's the new generation like ha football we karti thi really acha pata nahi I think in the last few while you've become like the IPL Girls. Yeah, so like the cricket. Yeah, it's not a bad. Yeah, thing. which is of course not. It's not a bad thing. I mean, IPL is IPL, you know. So you wait so long to be able to host a tournament like that, and you feel yeah. very privileged. Someone's mm-hmm. asking. She used to play football. I don't know if that's a question or an answer. Did you? Uh, yeah, I did in school a little bit. Oh. Uh, uh, not, not professionally. It was just because I always enjoyed playing sports. and i thought and my father is an army man so uh, my parents always push my brother and me into playing some form of sport like swimming we used to do or play a team sport just because it teaches you life skills it's not that i had ambitions of playing for india Being or anything like that right. no not at all it was just like it was a hobby it was a after school thing to do and they thought that sports would teach my brother and me a lot of life skills which i think it does so it's it's important to give school children that sort and yes we were very one of the very few girls in our school in delhi who wanted to actually play football and we did play football with the boys and that's i mean it led to this so i don't it's it's amazing that way you know so now two quick random questions what is your height and what is your favorite travel destination third one can you sing a song oh well that's up to you no i have absolutely no vocal skills so let's spare the viewers of fans um can my height is what about 5 6 and a half 5 7 something like okay. that and favorite travel destination honestly anywhere in in india outside india i would say um for us the easiest would be like southeast asia because we love that sort of food Yeah. and we love the whole very like like vietnam like the very low key vibe of like literally just going on the streets and the street carts and all of that so and outside of um, i haven't been 
I mean, it's been a while since I've been to Europe, but uh, England is always great. I just love there. You know, Stuart played some cricket there for about four or five months last year, so I literally stayed there. It's just a fun vibe, you know. I, I love England. It's a great place. Love London. Nice. I think we've all got our list of places that to be like. I know. I know. Yeah. It's almost depressing to think about, but uh, yeah. Again, my and see, man, you look just great. I think you need to say hi to a couple of people because they're really upset. They're saying if you guys want to talk. <laughs> I've just called each other. So Guys, we're so time. sorry. We're just like catching up. It's been so long. You know how girls are, okay? When they catch I up. Right. Yeah, but so thank you so much. For... So like the next 10 people. Yeah. They're like, say my name, say my name. Yeah, so sweet. Guys, thank you so much for joining us. It's really, really exciting to be talking uh, to Paloma. Yes, I do live in Bangalore. Who uh, I know a lot, a lot of people who ask every time they see us in Bangalore and they ask Stuart, they're like, what are you doing here? And we're like, um, we live here. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, does that happen to you? You live in Chennai, right? Do people yeah. think that you live in Bombay all the time? So when you're there? Sometimes, sometimes. It's, it's confusing. Yeah. So. Yeah. Okay. Uh, no, but thank you guys. Love from Italy. Thank you so much. Do we like Hyderabad biryani? Yes, we do. You should be asking Mr. Bini that question. He certainly does. <laughs> uh, do, you, do you have a favorite food? You know what? I'm North Indian, guys. So like I could just live off North Indian food, like yeah, Mughlai food, that was another question. Uh, Rajma Chawal, Bhindi, like just like naan, tandoori, paneer, whatever, you know, dal, dal makhli. I could just live off that every day. I'd be very happy with that. Yeah. Bhavnesh, Mayanti says, hi, Josh. Hi. Hi, guys. Thank you Bye, so much for joining us. That's one of my favorite. Uh, I know I'm not on Snapchat, my friend. Does, does Bini know Kannada? I don't know Kannada. Yes, Stuart does know Kannada. So, Mike, tell everybody where you're from. There was another question I got. Where, where are you from? So, I'm from Delhi. Uh, I'm Punjabi Kashmiri, mixed mixed blood that way. Uh, but uh, born in Delhi, traveled all over because of the army, and uh, finally finished on my school college in Delhi. So, I, I'm a Delhi girl. And, uh, well, now I live in Bangalore. So, I guess I'm like a Bangalore girl. So, yeah. You're like Both a woman of India home. now. Because woman of, like, of India. Yeah. <laughs> by a lot as well. Right? So, yeah. And also, I think even before this job, uh, Paloma, it was uh, army life. You know, you travel yeah, everywhere. Travel. So, you just, you can settle pretty much anywhere. And that's that's one of the great things about being an army kid. So, you really do feel like you have a vibe of every place. So someone is tuning in from Bangladesh and someone says, are we seeing you in movies anytime soon, Mrs. Bini? <laughs> you should consider yourself very lucky you're not seeing me in movies. I have zero talent. Like, no, not at all. Anda, <laughs> ze- Come on, yeah. Like if you give me a, like a script, you know how we've shot promos? Like yeah. it's, it's difficult for me. I'm like, okay, no, I'm not bad used actors, to so script. I <laughs> I can't, I can't like do the whole emote and I can do it like I can play the part when we're on live TV and we're having fun like but I can't, I can't do the scripts and I just I'm sorry guys you, you know it's, it's a good thing you should not ask for me to be in your movies you'll be wasting your time. Because I was just telling someone, everyone thinks that acting is an extension of like, if you're an anchor, then you can be an actress. No, 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 I'm really, yeah, Yeah. it's hard. (laughs) It's two very different skills. Yeah, yeah. And I think I I, like, it's very hard when you come from acting and you're used to things being a certain way and you come straight into live TV and you have to be spontaneous and be on your feet. It's, it's a tough skill. So the people who make that transition, like total respect for them. Somebody is saying, uh, Shout out to How Bobby did you Arms enjoy Bini's? Huh. Oh yeah, shout out to all the army bats. Seriously, I mean, uh, one of the reasons why I can be the kind of person that I am or the kind of woman that I am is because of just growing up in the army. It's played a huge role in my life, definitely. Okay, uh, lo- again, these are questions. A lot of big fans. They're all saying same idea. Paloma, name. your favorite cricketer. Come on, Paloma, your favorite cricketer. I keep saying Dhoni. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> is there anyone? How? Else? I know, I know. See, there you go. Uh, thanks, guys. Never miss your shoot. Describe MCA ground in Pune. You know, that's that's a uh, that's a really fun one, the MCA ground in Pune, because when we first got there, uh, we <laughs> we were given like these vanity vans, okay? Because there is no facilities for the commentators and things like that. So we were given like these. Yeah, yeah. You know, they are the vanity vans and then you yeah, enter yeah. and basically your commentary boxes are built on those two, on those stilts. Those boxes yeah, yeah, are right yeah. on top. Correct. Yeah. 
they look like crates no like little crates here in <laughs> oh no what happened you one of the reasons to see extra cover kohli and dhoni dif- am i back are we back, back. you're back you're back <laughs> Uh, yeah, so that's that's my memory of the ground. Is that because we are at a much higher level than the fans are at, and then you just have to walk all the way down if you need to get anything done. But it's fun. It's a fun stadium. Yeah, and it's, uh, people always say, "What happens if you need to, you know, use the restroom when you're going live?" I'm mm-hmm. like, "You can't." <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm like, "You can't." <laughs> you can you better go before like for women especially it's a process right like yeah. we have to go and then mic up separately and then come back down and it's, it's a, like it's a, guys it's like a process yeah <laughs> i agree okay so my thing yeah. if you want to get we we'll get a little serious for 2 minutes and then we'll come back to being serious yes okay? so i'm going to yes. ask you about uh, being one of the few female anchors at least to begin with in a very very male dominated space and mm-hmm. this might sound like again a very cliche question to ask but it's the truth right yeah um, yeah were you ever sort of intimidated by all of these roshan is saying i remember trying to walk down those stands in heels <laughs> well <laughs> done roshan <laughs> <laughs> but uh, did you ever feel sort of uh, you know intimidated or under pressure or any of that uh, being the only woman there i feel always in india a guy yeah. can mistake and get away with it but a girl uh, can't <laughs> everyone sort of waiting. yeah and it isn't just about the mistake and i think you would understand this and rochelle would understand this the most is that if you make a mistake somehow it also translates into the way you look and the way you dress yeah. and the way you carry yourself in your personal life it's not just one thing uh, that's coming at you Yeah. Yeah, because no one is discussing how this person's hair is looking or what, you know, his weight is or what his weight isn't or uh is he's looking old or if he's looking young or what is he wearing. It's just, you know, it's a different sort of comment. So, if we make a mistake, our comments are also bombarded with this. So, you got to be very tough. Yeah. You really got to be tough when you because you're putting yourself out there and you're loving your job and you're very grateful for it. And um in a way, yes, you're right. Uh you not only being looked by at the male gaze which is not a wrong thing but then uh, you're also uh, surrounded by men all the time but i've never been in a situation paloma where it felt intimidating to me and i think again i thank my father my mother and the army background for that yeah. uh, because it just gave you a inner strength and confidence and you okay. felt like i always felt like i had a right to be there and sometimes it can be a very intimidating atmosphere for women to walk into especially you know we like looks it it's there's nothing wrong dressing up on a field and wearing the heels and looking the way you do but sometimes you can feel a little uncomfortable but you know i we work with some really good people and men especially who have um you know you could have a wardrobe malfunction and a strap could be showing and or your skirt could be flying and they've been male cameramen who've just been like my feet just um, can you just fix that and you know you have to break that barrier you have to like not have that shame or to be able to use one of those unisex toilets and be like guys can you just see if someone's outside yeah, yeah. so yeah i i i do think it's a lot better now yeah, in the absolutely. beginning it was like that and since i've pretty much only worked with men in the beginning um it just trained me for getting very very immune to that sort of social media gaze that used to come through that used to be a little sexist at times you know yeah. um so yeah I, you kind of had to be you kind of had to be tough yeah and you not to say that men don't let their emotions show but you kind of also had to just be calm and keep everything in check and remember that you're not just a woman out there you're still a sports presenter out there yeah. and you should want to judge yourself against men and women and not just against our pit each other and girls against each other and guys again you know you know you should want to be there because you're the best irrespective of your gender so that just has carried me through for long all these years and i think now it's it's amazing when women talk about being sports anchors they always say uh, no but mayanti does it and mayanti knows a lot about cricket mm. she knows the game and you know i want to be like mayanti so yeah i'm sure someone that feels amazing right that when that's really you know, that's you know, really you know, sweet about, yeah the fact that you know what you're talking about as well and and that's really sweet because i i i mean I, again rochelle could answer this and maybe someone like shivani in the past could have answered this that i don't think i because i didn't come from an entertainment background i don't think they had this expectation of me being a model 
and yeah. always dressing a certain way and looking a certain way i, th- I think i still dare like okay listen she's a normal girl who's come into this so yeah. you are just going to look like this and you can dress however you want but there was never a uh, you know like let's completely glamorize her or something so the expectation all for for me at least always came from con- that was it i i don't think i had that additional pressure of employers always trying to make you look a certain way yeah. but it does happen for a lot of women and my thing is that i don't think it's wrong you can look your best you could look like a supermodel but you should be able to talk like you know a professional and yeah. why wouldn't you want to have the best of both worlds yeah you know just because you're a hot girl doesn't mean you don't know your cricket so uh it's it's great if you want to look a certain way and dress yourself up and wear those great clothes and still be able to hold a conversation i think that's great you're able to amplify both skills yeah i agree and someone's asking i have there ever been days where you've gone blank <laughs> you don't seem not like so much blank right but maybe no not so much like, like you on air you mean yeah uh no you know I, the one thing I, even now some of us feel that even when you're presenting india matches you can kind of just walk in and you everyone knows yeah you you know who you're going to talk about you know the stats and all but i still always do my research so always if people will notice i've always kept an ipad with me or my ipad is near me you know in between breaks or vts i go and check i i always trust my notes and i trust my research because you're right sometimes you might forget things like it's a funny thing some one of the guests saw and this is like i think vvs lakshman saw so he saw my notes once because he wanted to see the run down and then he said why have you written vvs lakshman at the top of your notes i said because lakshman i don't want to forget your name <laughs> he said you forget my name i said no i won't but you know vvs lakshman and whoever's like so the segments change and i would change the guest it's just why why yeah <laughs> exactly and he was just like you weirdo what do you mean i said no i'm not going to forget your name it's just that what if i do at least i'd be like oh, okay that's lakshman like i forgot my own name lakshman come on i could forget you <laughs> anything can happen anything so you know those sort of uh, that sort of like safety net or that sort of old school you know either handwritten notes something i think is really really crucial to still do i still rely on that quite a bit okay so I think you've kind of answered that by saying you need to have a thick skin and just let yeah. it slide. Yes. I think and whoever knows me or who has uh, seen me interact with trolls knows that I kind of take it in a very light spirit and I try and find that I don't I don't I don't answer to the abusive comments and I don't answer to those that are like harassment. Uh, I answer to the ones that I think are a little funny and I could answer I think I'm being funny. I don't know. But look the other thing that I'll tell you is that I have lived with someone who has basically been trolled his entire career and people don't even know my husband they don't know what kind of person he is he doesn't put himself on social media you have absolutely no idea of his opinions or what it's like to you know reach the summit of playing for india that journey and then not playing for india yeah. and those ups and downs in life that professional athletes have and stuart's never put himself out there and people just love to comment about him and us and our marriage and um so you know people don't actually realize how seriously both of us are targeted by trolls so if he can handle it with so much grace then i just take a cue from him because that's we know to some extent it's it's not really our life and we're okay with you not knowing us as a couple mm-hmm. or you not knowing us as people because that's our story right so um i try and have fun once in a while yeah. but the best thing is i ignore all of us do that right paloma we all try to ignore it yeah but i but i agree with what you're saying the women like, i think with women mm. somehow it becomes about uh the physical and everything absolutely. else absolutely but as a guy i mean it's about that one particular thing and then they move on mm. to the next but mm. oh well we knew what we were getting into <laughs> i know but you know it's slowly yeah. i think slowly i think it has to some extent change a little slowly there've been some times when like some of those comments i'll get is from like women also right but then some of my defenders will be guys saying i don't think that matters and by the way i think she looks great you know so it's maybe it is changing yeah okay so now coming back to uh, i promise we'll get back to uh, the lighter side of things a lot of people asked yeah. if you were not an anchor what would you do and normally what would you do in your free time something small and simple that you like to do so i always pretty much just grew up wanting to go to art school so i think i would have wanted okay. to like do some design or a graphic design or something like that that was always the course that i was very interested in so probably would have pursued that 
and um, actually that's one of the hobbies that i have picked up during this whole social distancing phase is uh, nice. i found some old like color pencils and all right lying around in a very old tattered sketchbook just to get that hand going again so that's one of the hobbies you know just to scribble here there everywhere um yeah i think that's the kind of life i would have been looking at you know getting involved in that and someone says and i'm going to ask you this it's cheesy but i want to know too what made you fall in love with Stuart Billy someone's asking and what is it that you like the best about him oh uh, what made me fall in love is that uh he's man he's a really good hearted person like he is very compassionate and again this is something that people just don't know how compassionate he is also bolwa he's really funny Like the guy makes me laugh, and that's like a bit of a chupa rustam when it comes to him. Because people who know him in the public life don't know that about him. But those of us who know him personally, like he can mimic people, and then he'll oh, do all. Yeah, he has all these little hidden talents, and it's like it's a laugh riot every day, and that's the best thing. Nice. Like if you are in, you know, laughing with the person that you're in love with every day, then that's the one thing that keeps you going. So. Uh, yeah those are the two reasons one is that he's incredibly compassionate and uh, he's got a great sense of humor nice and the other yeah. thing we passed for some reason is who your favorite actor is that came up a lot <laughs> i don't know no, you guys tell us who's you know not really you guys tell us who's your favorite actor you can see it in the comments did you have a love marriage are you asking me or paloma i think both Probably. of us had a love marriage yeah both of us did both of us okay. had a love marriage now they just going to keep asking questions about you i know you guys <laughs> He also has crazy best bowling figures. Yes, he did. Thank you for remembering. Uh, we met on the cricket field, as cliche as it is. Um, there was a tournament. My first cricket tournament ever was the ICL, the Indian Cricket League, which was just before IPL, and that was eventually banned by BCCI. And the players were also banned, so they had to get a manistee. And I was like interviewing him, and that's how I got to know him. And only after that tournament, like. finished did we kind of stay in touch but uh, yeah i mean cricket's cricket's bought me everything right it's it's ended up getting me like a career and it got me a soul mate so it's amazing yeah the sport like special the common, the common factor across all of the aspects yeah yeah of it's life. really cricket's given us everything that way yeah okay so i'm going to quickly you have a great collection of cosmetics behind you those are not cosmetics it's actually bottles of alcohol i know <laughs> i love your bar <laughs> Okay, I'm going to ask you. We're going to do a silly this or that before we wind nice. up. Nice, nonsensical stuff. Uh, you just have to choose this or that. Yeah, mm -hmm. ready? Okay. Um, what is that one makeup essential? So, by the way, for those of you tuning, yeah, in, that's that was Rochelle. Rochelle. I know like, Rochelle. Is... Rochelle going on uh, saying hi. I'm like Rochelle, <laughs> yeah, guys, real sister. I know. Sister, not cousin sister, not sister from another Mister, actual sister. So that's why she's. Yeah. <laughs> Rochelle, the compact, the Mac compact. I mean, we can't. Uh, you need it on the field, right? You're you perpetually <laughs> sweating. The rest you can get away with, like the lipstick will stay and all. But that that Mac Studio Fix, that's my one essential. Nice. That's actually. Uh, yeah. That's a, that's a good point for all the women. Too. Yeah. Yeah. True. All the men, depending. Okay. So yeah, because they hang on before you finish that. That's because they tend to want to borrow ours because they conveniently forget theirs. That, by the way, guys, has happened a lot. <laughs> Where all <the laughs> men have come and been, oh, what is that? Can I borrow it? No, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I've done that too. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, cat or dog? Dog. Anything. Coffee or tea? Coffee. Car or motorbike? uh car not a big fan but car i guess yeah uh okay no but to be in to ride to, to car, car, like, oh, yeah. okay. car 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 high heels or sneakers i like my high heels ooh yeah okay. i like my high heels yes interesting mm -hmm. skiing or surfing sorry say that again skiing or surfing i haven't done either i'm guessing i'm better in the water so i'll try surfing Yeah. Okay, so this answers my next question: mountains yeah. or beach? Oh, can I not go to the beach underneath the mountains? Okay, I suppose if you find the right place. What What is the place like that? What like Hong Kong or uh, maybe? Yeah, I don't island, know. Hilly island that's places. A, that's a tough people. one. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, one of those sunset. places. Sunset. Zumba or yoga? Yoga. What's more uncomfortable, being very hot or very cold? Very hot. I can take the cold. You can take the cold. I'm the opposite. Yeah, uh, yeah. Because I'm from the north and you're from and the I'm south. That's why. And I'm from <laughs> Delhi. Cold any day. <laughs> and finally, would you rather be a passenger or a driver? 
uh sort of relaxing being a passenger you don't have to do anything but i like driving having said that i do enjoy driving uh, life is fine i'll be the passenger as long as someone i trust is driving somebody's asked roti or naan <laughs> Naan, man, who will pick between roti and naan? Come on, guys! But give me an interesting option. Should it be like a Kerala paratha, Malabar paratha, naan? Then it becomes tough. Or an appam, yeah. Then it becomes really, really tough. Hey, roti and naan, hello, naan every. Dosa or naan? Oh, now you've confused me. That's, that's tough. A, no, that's a tough. That's one. tough I because I, because like. I love my dosas Dose, now, no? right? Yeah. Oof. Um. Dosas in Bangalore. <laughs> Rava dosa any day. Yeah. Even okay. over a naan, like I'm betraying my North Indian that Punjabi roots. <laughs> But a rava dosa, yeah. That is nice. <laughs> well, my dear, I'm gonna say thank you so much for joining. Thank us. you so uh, much, Paloma. It's been a, it's, the half an hour just sort of. I know. Yeah. I wasn't sure how busy you were, or if you were like just taking a break. Clean shave or beard, your <laughs> sister. <laughs> That's a good beard. one. Beard. That's a beard? good one. Yeah, beard. But like the trimmed. Yeah, yeah. Like, I, I hate those like bushy things that are in now. No, like, what is that? I can't remember the last time. I like I I can't remember what Stuart looks like clean shaved. Yeah, so I also think it depends on the guy. Like not right? everybody looks good with a beard. Some Your husband doesn't like, have a beard though. No, he has like no. a one on it. It's kind of like a, a goatee. Yeah. yeah, and I think Keith has a beard. Yeah, Keith has like a full beard. <laughs> yeah, right. So okay, Rishal, we'll go with the beard. <laughs> <laughs> Majority wins. I know. <laughs> so before we wind up, is there anything you'd like to say to all your fans, Mayanti? Because trust me, you have a lot of them. <laughs> That's so sweet, guys. Thank you so much for like joining us, and uh, thank you, Paloma, for doing this as well. It's a lot of fun. I, I don't. Uh, everyone knows I'm. I don't really use this. I don't have comments enabled on Instagram, but that doesn't mean that I don't enjoy this opportunity to interact to see you guys. So thank you so much for those of you asking. How is uh, Bini? He's doing really well. So. Thank Thank you for yeah, asking nice, about him as well. Nice point. Studio or stadium? There's a good. Ah, uh, stadium, stadium, okay. guys. There's a different vibe of being in a stadium, and because we get to see all of you there, you know, you guys make a difference. So uh, thank you so much. Thank you guys so much for tuning into this, and a huge thanks to uh, Paloma for doing this. Thanks so much, Mayanti. We're going to say uh, give our love to Bini because I tell her that fifty percent of the questions <laughs> we'll talk about him. <laughs> so I know. I know. If he was here, I would have tried to like drag him in, but I think he very conveniently went up to do this when he knew I was going live exactly on Instagram. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, he's that sort of like shy boy. Next time Thank we'll try so something. Thank you so much, Mayanti. And remember, everybody really, really misses you. And hopefully, we're gonna we're gonna have. Cricket on TV soon. Yeah, yeah. That's what. Thanks so much, Ulama. Thank you, guys. Please stay Thanks. safe, stay home, and we will see you all soon. Okay. Lots of love to all of you. Lots of love. Bye. Bye. <laughs> all right. So we hope you guys enjoyed our chat with the one and only Mayanti Langer. She's also staying safe at home. during the lockdown and thank you guys all of you fans for tuning in it was so much fun to chat all things ipl and cricket and we'll see you on another exciting insta live don't forget to stay connected on instagram guys see you ciao bye